Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today I'd like to show you the results of the AMD A65400K APU that runs in dual graphics mode or also known as Crossfire with the AMD Radeon HD 6450. The AMD A65400K APU and the Sapphire Radeon HD 6450 512MB DDR3 graphics card were used for this test. You could also watch this separate review by me of the APU. But now let's move on to the benchmarks. There you go, as you saw yourself, it doesn't seem to be the greatest idea to pair this A6500 k APU up with a discrete graphics card such as the HD 6450 or 6570. In some games and applications, there hardly is any performance increase over the iGPU, in this case the HD 7540D, but still some games benefit from this dual graphics configuration. You might also encounter some issues like some weird stuttering, but I believe this can all be fixed in future display driver updates. Compared to the A10 and A8 APUs in dual graphics, this A6 APU really lets the performance down. You might as well also go with the integrated graphics instead of adding AHD 6450 to the setup. So in the end, if you'd really like to have an APU, or let's say you just buy the A6 5400K because you have the money right now, but you don't have enough for a proper discrete graphics card, and so you go with integrated graphics for a while. But later on you have some money to spend on your system and the only way out to get more graphics performance would be to get yourself a HD6450 to pair it up with the APU. Unfortunately there hardly are any performance increases noticeable. The power consumption is a little lower, yes that's weird, roughly 4 person less in load, but still you almost get the same graphics performance as you would with the integrated graphics or even worse performance, that's very disappointing. Someday the weird stuttering in some games probably will get fixed in future display driver updates, but unfortunately I can't really recome this type of a configuration. So really, if you have this APU and still want better graphics performance, then not only recommend you going for a better discrete graphics card, simply because the dual graphics technology doesn't really increase any performance, in fact it lowers it in many cases. But this only happened on this A6 APU, I've also tested the A8 and A10 APUs in dual graphics and these work flawlessly. So I really hope this video could help you and maybe you've already made up a decision. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.